Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the second episode of Darts Around the Globe. I'm your host Pim Huberts and I want to thank you for all your support on the first episode with Devin Peterson. I also want to thank you on your support on the Facebook page. We already have almost 100 people from all around the world that liked the Facebook page Darts Around the Globe. Today we have a very special guest. She will talk about darts all the way in Iran. She is one of the best female darts players from Asia and she is definitely the best female darts player from the Middle East. She has won multiple WDF tournaments. We are talking about Moshgan Rahmani. I am Moshgan Rahmani, a darts player of Iran. This is a darts around the globe. Thanks for joining us and uh, I'm really interested in uh, getting to know uh, darts in Iran. Um, but first of all, how, how are you doing this crisis? Hi, and um, I'm happy uh, now to talk with you about darts and also about darts in Iran. And mm -hmm. uh, now uh, only I'm practice at home, just practice at home. Are you practicing a lot these uh, times? I, I see you're participating a lot in online tournaments. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I practice a lot and uh, now my tournament is uh, a lot of <laughs> more than before Corona. <laughs> and uh, now my tournament is a lot and um, online tournaments and I play with uh, the best player uh, in the world and I'm happy, I, I'm happy for that. Well, you clearly showed some uh, good results in those uh, COVID uh, tournaments too. Um, let's start with your career. Um, yeah, how did you start to play? darts in Iran? Yeah, uh, I started uh, in 2016 and um, uh, many years ago uh, that's the moment uh, darts uh, not come to Iran yet, uh, same uh, association or federation and uh, just uh, I, I saw darts uh, same fun and play fun and uh, I feel like I like I really like and I have talent of uh, that sport mm -hmm. and uh, um, I keep that in my mind and because uh, I really love darts and um, in 2016 after my study in, in uh, university uh, I decided to start uh, darts uh, professional darts and uh, I started with the um, head coach of uh, national darts, darts team of Iran Okay. Uh, and I start uh, learning of him and he teach me a lot uh, in duration five year, years and um, uh, 2016 uh, I started practice a lot for darts and 2017 uh, I go to Malaysia Open. Uh, mm -hmm. That was the first, uh, first trip for me um, in darts. Uh, I go to Malaysia that, uh, that Malaysia is the biggest event uh, darts in Asia yeah. and uh, yeah, have a uh, silver point in WDF and I went to the, that tournament and I play and I play very well uh, and no one, uh, no one uh, don't know me and mm -hmm. uh, but I show my be I showed my best and uh, when I went to final and uh, in front of Katie Leung he's uh, one of the best in Asia yeah and uh, yeah, uh, and I became champion. Uh, everyone in Asia uh, know know me, and uh, I started to practice more than before uh, because uh, I I know very well uh, to keep a championship is very difficult. Mm -hmm. Your first, you say it yourself, your first international tournament in Malaysia went really really well. Um, before that, there are uh, you participated in the Shiraz Open in Iran. Um, 2016, you lost in the final from um, Denise Hashtbaran, if I <laughs> pronounce it correctly. Yeah. And then in 2017, you won, you won from her. Um, and that was your first uh, tournament yeah. win. Um, yeah, how did it feel to win a tournament in your own country? Yeah, uh, 2016, Iran started uh, to join the uh, tournament of WDF. And uh, 2016, uh, I haven't a good experience in darts, and I reached the final, and uh, I lost, and uh, I, w I was a runner-up that tournament. And 2017, exactly uh, on that tournament, and uh, Iran Open, uh, we call it Shiraz Open, mm -hmm. um, I reached the final again uh, with Denis Hashbaran, and 
uh, I beat her and uh, I became champion. And after that, I went to Malaysia, became champion, and I get a uh, very good rank in WDF, uh, only with a uh, one year practice in darts, and I reached to uh, 28 rank in WDF in 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody in Iran uh, can't reach to uh, this rank yet. Uh, after that, uh, we started to. Uh, practice a lot and um, to join. Uh, I I joined uh, to national uh, darts of Team Iran adults and uh, we practiced a lot for one year. Uh, we wanted to go to uh, South Korea for Asia Cup, but uh, uh, we have uh, many problems in Iran and mm -hmm. uh, they cannot send a uh, team of Iran to uh, South Korea for Asia Cup. And again, I practice. Again, I practice. And um, 2019, I started to go to um, tournaments, uh, all tournaments in Asia, uh, yeah. and I started to go alone. And I go to Selangor Open uh, 2019, and I reached the final. Yeah, yeah, I reached the final for event team. And after that, I I went to India. And uh, that uh, tournament uh, was a big tournament in India. And Ross Bray also came. In that tournament, Raspberry was a referee of the, uh, my, fin uh, my final, and um, I became champion in a ladies single, and I became champion in mixed double with Nitin Kumar. Nitin Kumar is the uh, one of the best player in Asia in PDC Asia Tour, mm -hmm. and um, he playing in World Championship of PDC, and uh, we became champion in double mix uh, also against uh, Australia, and. Mm, after that, I, I went again to Malaysia 2019, and again I became champion. <laughs> also, Raspberry was uh, the referee mm -hmm. in that tournament. Um, yeah, well, you said uh, Nitin Kumar, he partnered up with you. You were at that tournament in, yeah. uh, that was the biggest tournament in India. You were yeah. uh, called player of the tournament. You were announced player of the tournament. Um, well, Nitin Kumar is... Um, I'm actually going to call with him tomorrow, so he's also one of our guests. Um, yeah, how is your relationship with a PDC player like him? Yeah, uh, he's very good, and um, uh, I saw all the uh, his tournaments in PDC and uh, PDC Asian Tour. Uh, we played together also uh, in 2019. In I went to uh, four stage of PDC Asian Tour uh, because of the I'm Iranian, and uh, this is very difficult to get visa. Uh, for many country for me. Okay. Uh, there is why, uh, yeah, uh, in the uh, two of the stage uh, in Asia, uh, only uh, only I can, uh, I could go um, to four stage and in Philippines and Singapore. And I play against uh, the best men in Asia. And that was an amazing uh, experience for me. And in the last stage in uh, Singapore, uh, from Asia, um, just uh, the ladies, I was just ladies in the, that tournament. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's organizer, um, uh, very happy to uh, to see me. And because uh, I, I, I uh, say to me, you you have brave uh, to uh, come to this tournament against men, against best men in Asia, and I went to the stage and last stage and uh, talk with uh, the old player and mm -hmm. I say to them, uh, I say to them, um, good luck and game on, and <laughs> they, that was a very funny, <laughs> very uh, funny time for me. Sounds like you had a good experience on the Asian tour. You played yeah. uh, events like you say in the Philippines 5 and 6 and Singapore 11 yeah. and uh, 12. So, um, is that visa problem that you um, have for some countries, is that also the reason that there are not many other Iranian players participating in those international tournaments? They, um, uh, in the Iranian player uh, and we have good players in mm -hmm. Iran uh, but they need to support they need to support, uh, uh, but uh, no one, uh, no one uh, support them, and uh, because uh, darts is not famous yet in Iran, and um, same Europe, same uh, uh, Asia, also uh, some some country in, in Asia, and uh, because uh, not famous in Iran, and they need to support, and nobody can uh, support them. 
that is why they not come. But for me, uh, I prefer uh, to go to other country and improve my darts because I know uh, if I stay in Iran, I cannot improve. I should go to uh, play with the best player in the world. Mm -hmm. um, do you think it, that's working out? Do you feel like your level is growing every tournament you play uh, in other countries? Yeah, and... Uh, I I try to learn of the every tournament, every game, every tournament. I try to learn and uh, improve my darts, and I really learn of any tournaments. Let's talk about more about darts in Iran itself. Um, yeah, how do you practice? I, I assume there are no bars like in England or the Netherlands you can go to and practice. Um, yeah. Where where can you meet with the other uh, darts players from Iran? To practice yeah uh, we uh, we have uh, the darts clock in Iran and mm. uh, I know this is uh, a little uh, but uh, we have a lot of uh, darts club but uh, in t in my city uh, only uh, three darts club we have and we go and uh, and uh, play with uh, other players but uh, almost I play uh, in my room I practice in my room, and uh, because uh, I I make my room uh, same uh, William Hill, mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah, my room is my world, and um, I'm sure uh, one day very soon I can uh, make through my dreams, and I play in uh, reality in William Hill, and almost I play at my and practice at my room. Well, you indeed have a beautiful, beautiful dark room. <laughs> I don't Thank know you. anybody who uh, who has a better practice room than you. Uh, let, let's talk about uh, the last tournament in 2020 you visited, at least internationally. That was the Dutch Open in my yeah. home country, the Netherlands. Um, I think you, you've you had a great time over there, right? Yeah, and um, I want to tell you, and uh, if you a month ago, uh, I practice a lot for uh, Germany tournament. Yeah. Germany tournament was a selection ladies for uh, PDC World Championship. And I practiced a lot for that and I really did my best for get visa Germany. Uh, but uh, I didn't uh, g uh, go to Europe and uh, that was the first uh, my request for Europe. And uh, Germany rejected me because I'm Iranian. Mm -hmm. And they rejected me and I was really sad. And I put a uh, put a post on my f uh, Facebook about that and I practice a lot and uh, what can I do, I'm Iranian and they uh, rejected me and uh, a manager uh, from uh, England uh, saw my post, uh, he's Paul Braun and uh, he mm -hmm. has big five and um, he's a, a really a great guy and he saw my post and also, I have uh, a couple of uh, good friends uh, from the uh, Netherlands, Ari and Monica. And uh, they started to help me for get a visa for the uh, Netherlands. And um, when I, when I uh, get my visa for Netherlands, I was really, really happy. And <laughs> I, I couldn't believe that <laughs> finally I get a Europe visa. And um, I went to Netherlands and uh, never seen my life uh, seeing that tournament, Dutch Open. Dutch Open was a very great tournament and mm -hmm. very big and um, I never uh, saw in my life um, a lot of players. And uh, we play and, um, we, and um, I and Monica play uh, for uh, double ladies and, uh, and after that uh, I play for single lady. And I reached to a top 32, and uh, a very a good experience for me. And I know uh, for next time, uh, I will uh, I will do my best and better uh, than Dutch Open this Dutch Open 2020. Uh, but uh, was a, a good and great experience for me. And I should thank you so much of Paul and Ari and Monica for helping me a lot for get visa for this tournament. Are you going to be at the Dutch Open 2021 too, if you are allowed to? 
Yeah, of course, of course, I will come, and I'm I'm doing my best for uh, move to uh, Europe and uh, for darts and um, okay. Yeah, after Corona, I hope I can do that. You are already looking for a place to live then to improve your darts. Is that what I what you mean with moving to Europe? Uh, yeah, I want to leave Iran and uh, uh, come to Europe and uh, stay in Europe and uh, just play darts with the best player in the Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, only uh, with that I can uh, improve my darts. And any countries that are on top of your list in Europe to go to? And I really want to come to England or Netherlands. Okay. Just okay. two countries. Mm -hmm. I believe in these two countries for darts. Yeah, well, I mean, those are the two top countries in darts. So, yeah. well, I hope you can get uh, into one of the, those countries. Yeah. I hope the Netherlands, of course, but... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are also someone who promotes this dart sport in Iran. I remember you saying that you are teaching darts in schools, for example. Um, yeah, yeah how's, how's that going? Yeah, and uh, I was a, a teacher of the school and uh, before uh, I was a member of National Dart Team of Iran. And after that, because of uh, my uh, practice and uh, I haven't time uh, for spending that school and I leave, uh, I left school. But at that time I, I was in the school. I was teacher, teacher mathematics in a school. And uh, I, I mix, uh, I, I, I do mix, uh, I did mix uh, mathematics with darts and teach uh -huh. to my students uh, mathematics with darts. And uh, yeah, they they was very happy my students uh, because all the time, uh, all the time, uh, they um, play darts and they think they are play they are play fun. But uh, uh, actually, they read uh, mathematic and they save in uh, their mind uh, mathematic. And I was really happy about that because uh, they also very happy. Well, that that's great that you um, teach them playing darts. Yeah. And Maybe getting to know them, uh, the dart sport themselves, so they yeah. play, so they are gonna play them themselves. What surprised me was that um, at the last two WF World Cups, the Iranian youth is doing it very, very well. Especially the girls are very good on a world level in darts. Uh, why do you think that's the case? Yes, uh, we was also very happy for that. Uh, uh, in 2017 and 2019, uh, only use uh, Association Darts of Iran uh, sent use to uh, World Cup. But I'm really happy because uh, they can show um, Iran is uh, very good in darts. Well, I think they clearly showed it. There was an Iranian couple who actually won the gold medal. There were some silver and bronze medals uh, in the youth. So they're clearly yeah. one of the better uh, youth players in the world do you think they will send a male and a males and a women's team eventually from iran to the world cup or you're not sure about that no uh, they they not sent they not sent i know they not sent what's what's the reason behind that because there are countries that are uh, showing a level way lower than i know that you can play for example or players like Ali Reza Izadi who is average, averaging 80 like it's nothing so Ali Reza Izadi is the uh, one of the best of uh, men in Iran and also Mohammad Mehdi Dehkan and uh, they play very good um, Ali Reza play very good in Japan and he reached on the final and Mohammad Mehdi Dehkan play in Turkish Open and uh, he uh, go to top four and I believe them a lot but uh, mm, Association Darts of Iran uh, think uh, if they uh, they spend time for use, this is better uh, to spend time and uh, money and energy for adults. Uh, they care about use and they want to grow use uh, to uh, for adults. Mm -hmm. what, what we can do? <laughs> and I just uh, also, and I select to go uh, to um, other country for play alone. That is why I select that. Yeah, um, talking about other countries, um, do you know any 
other developments in countries like um well your your neighbor countries armenia azerbaijan i know turkey is pretty good in darts too their girls are great too is there any development going on in the middle east around you around iran only turkish has uh, have a good player have a good players only turkish and also now is dubai dubai have a good mm-hmm. players now and uh, especially Nitin Kumar now is uh, living uh, alive in um, Dubai and uh, there is why um, I think around Iran only Dubai and Turkey. Like do you think there's going to be more players in Iran or more tournaments? Yes, yes. Um, th- um, there's in Iran going to famous and I'm also trying my best uh, in social media about us. I I really do my best for that, and uh, many players join, and I think five years more uh, there's will be better. I hope. And about yourself, your career, in five years you hopefully are in England or in the Netherlands. Um, yeah. <laughs> what do you see yourself doing in five years in on the yeah. darts level? And uh, five years more, uh, I should reach uh, to all my uh, targets in darts. And what are your targets in darts? Uh, the best tar- my uh, best target in darts is uh, throwing without any mistake. Uh, and my second uh, target oh. is uh, uh, very important for me. I really wanted to show to all the world players, player, not different she or he. And I really want to be a part of to change this thinking all mind in the world that's a great view on uh, darts on the future um let's hope you can participate in the next women's uh world championship qualifier um are you looking forward to that i hope you can get a yeah. visa of course yeah and uh, i'm not worried about visa <laughs> because i i have a good manager and uh, he helped me a lot i'm not worried about that anymore and okay. but uh, I'm doing my best uh, for select that uh, ladies to go to uh, PDC World Championship for next year. Mm-hmm. So we are sure we will see Musran Ramani next year on the qualifier of the Women's Championship. Thank you so much and I will do my best and I, I want to uh, thank you of uh, my best manager he uh, supporting me a lot and uh, Ross Hampton, he's from England and uh, now he live in Dubai and he's also manager of Nitin Kumar, mm-hmm. my best partner in darts and I want to, uh, to thank you Ross and he helped me, uh, helping me a lot and uh, for anything. That's, uh, that's great. Uh, thank you Oskan for uh, joining us, <laughs> You're welcome. for telling us more about uh, the darts You're in welcome. Iran and um, Yeah, hopefully we will see a lot of you in the future. (laughs) You're welcome. And I should sorry because my language English is not very well, (laughs) but I did my best. (laughs) It's, It's fine. It's fine. Thank you.